Oh, boys, they got busted. Look at that stuff. That's crazy. Got a bunch of news, updates regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards, plus some 40 series of graphics card updates as well. EVGA coming back into the game, or at least one player from EVGA coming back in the game. We got some benchmarks regarding the new CPU from AMD. Some updates regarding the Qualcomm Snapdragon CPU, which this is what I am very excited for because AMD has failed to bring 1440p gaming. And to be fair, even 1080p gaming to a certain point with their APUs and whatever processors that have graphics card inside of them. This right here is a big one. Like this is, this is actually pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about and I don't want to start, start an uproar with the stock market, dude, but whoo. And then this right here is just something I wanted to talk about as far as like AMD. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and begin with the cool thing first. The Chinese Customs bust, one of the largest CPU smuggling attempts, 596 Intel Xeon chips valued at $1.2 million. Tell me that this isn't funny. Tell me it ain't funny. I literally, looking at this image, I actually thought that it was like, I actually thought that like it was like CPUs on top of like a bunch of like cocaine or something that's what i thought it was because that's what i mean tell me that isn't what this reminds you of but to be fair i just i don't know that's really all we need to talk about i just found it interesting and funny and wanted to share it so hong kong customs manages to halt massive tax evasion through cpu smuggling by successfully identifying a culprit that was running away with 596 intel xeon chips packed within cars dashboard I mean, come on, bro. <laughs> Do you imagine being a police officer that sees that and be like, or actually, I mean, to be fair, they're they're probably having a whatever. What is that called there? Or they're they're probably having like some sort of day of almighty super duper happiness. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. They're probably having a fun fest. I don't I don't know how else to explain it. So the next article is uh, the RTX 4080 Super dropping below $1,000 for the very first time. Now do keep in mind this is a Pony or PNY, whatever you want to call their company. So it's not necessarily the best graphics card out there. Pony is a good company. I, even Zotac at this point is good. I'm fully aware that both of these companies have maybe not had the best reputation in the past, but look, there's no business out there that doesn't make mistakes. It's the businesses that make a mistake and then fix the mistake and improve upon the mistake. It's, you know, Pony has done that, PNY, whatever. I'm sure there's a bunch of pronunciation warriors that are saying it's something different than what I even just barely said. Um, so Pony, Zotac, that kind of stuff, you know, I don't know. I feel like they've proven themselves. I have run into an issue with a used zotac graphics card that i purchased from amazon look i build computers for people insert the advertisement trailer right now real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a pc from me my facebook business page is linked down in the description below i do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which i do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below so there are people that want to save money on the graphics card understandably so because i am the same way if, if i can grab a rtx 4090 which you can't because used 4090s are even more than brand new because people are just dumb uh but if they were normally used price when you like if the 4090 was like it didn't have didn't get scalped up by everybody like let's say it was like a thousand bucks for a 4090 because it was used or something and somebody wants me to build a computer for them why would i not or if if i was the one buying that pc i would want to buy the one thousand dollar graphics card over the one that cost twenty five hundred dollars you know so I completely understand that. But really, that's the only thing I need to say about this. The Zotac RTX 4070 Ti Super is $770. And then the Zotac RTX 4070 Super non-Ti version is $580. And those are some pretty good deals as well. I personally would get the 4080 because whatever. 
actually to be fair i wouldn't get any graphics card right now i'm waiting for i would wait for the 50 series dude because we're seeing some like pretty crazy numbers when it comes down to the uh whatever the 50 series of graphics cards so the next thing that i wanted to cover is the x evga overclocker kingpin finds a new home at pony to again or pny whatever dude to work on an enhanced overclocked capability for the next generation uh gpus which this is sick because i know a lot of you guys are familiar with who evga is and for those of you that may be new into the pc scene this is actually my the rtx 48 or 2080 from evga that was my first computer that i built it had a it had a rtx uh 2080 it was during when my gaming channel was actually doing really well so intel sent me the i9 9900k i know right been a while unfortunately my gaming channel is just dead at this point unfortunately um i do plan on making some like more helpful content for those of you that are leaving questions about me running my the business that i'm running and then giving some like youtube advice and then just some like personal stuff because i'm very open about the things that i struggle with and i get comments on this a lot asking how i overcame all that and then they also people are also asking me um you know how i managed to create a, a business the way that i did and it's in simple terms dude it took me seven years to be able to do what i am doing um i have a goal set for myself and i have not lost focus of that goal so that's really the main thing um it's it's it comes down to wanting to accomplish something and allowing that thing to drive you and seeing progress like i don't care what anybody says dude like it the progress plays a massive role into what you do but anyways i know i'm getting a little bit off topic there uh what we can I'll, I'll start doing that like towards the end of the video maybe let me know down in the comments if that's something that you would like because i am seeing more and more comments on stuff like that and i would like to dude i do youtube for a reason like the community aspect of it is is the best part for me personally because i didn't have the best life i know so i'm 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 doing this intentionally um you can read the article there's not much that i personally need to say about this uh gamers nexus made a full-blown whatever 30 minute interview if you guys would like to go and watch that i love gamers nexus he's an awesome he's one of my favorite tech channels because he's not he doesn't like just like sit in front of a camera like i i genuinely hate that there's a reason i make the videos the way i do like oh if i swap oh it's so adhd why are you in including gameplay dude I literally am a PC gamer building PCs, making videos on PCs. Like, why would I not, like, include gameplay? Like, are you just, like, building computers and interested in these, like, in graphics cards and you just, like, want to, like, rub your graphics card? Ooh, it's so beautiful. I love my graphics card. It's so much bigger than your graphics card. Mm, let me pet it. Or are you actually playing video games with it? I'm just saying, bro. Like, why you include gameplay? What the freak? <laughs> but anyways adhd whatever videos i really don't care uh, i make videos the way that i want to make videos and what i would watch personally and quite frankly that's for people that don't have very big attention spans because i i i struggle with high functioning autism and i'm not going to rewatch a boring ass video sorry for <laughs> that <laughs> i'm sorry but anyways amd claimed 16 percent. so this is for the zen 5 cpus uh, or APUs and um, come down here so you can see 4k again if you're on a phone you can literally I'm still surprised that people aren't aware of this if you're on a phone you can literally take the video and you even with just two fingers and you can zoom in um, and f so for people that say you can't read because you're on a phone one why are you watching a video on a phone and two I don't know zoom in if you can't see so anyways here's all the benchmarks i don't i i don't i whatever <laughs> i just being real with you i don't believe any of that uh, and it's not just i'm not saying that because it's amd intel and nvidia do it too i'm just whatever you know what i mean they they always over exaggerate this it's like the 5090 saying it's going to get a 70 percent increase in performance i believe the 70 percent increase in performance is going to happen but it is not in video games and that is where most people are going to be thinking that 70% increase in performance is going to come. Dude, if it if it even has anything to do with video games at all, if that 70% increase in performance 
happens in a video game is probably with path tracing. It's not even going to happen with ray tracing. Like ray tracing has been out for three generations of G one the 50 series comes out or no four when the 50 series comes out. It's been out for three already. So we're not going to be seeing that massive of a uh, performance jump in ray tracing. It's going to be with path tracing or artificial intelligence rendering or whatever the I don't even think it's going to actually. So the 5080 might be able to. Uh, uh, so for people that are using, I don't do animation. I le actually speaking of the YouTube advice, I sold my animation channel. So I'm not into the animation scene anymore, but like the 4090 was for me an investment because with programs like Blender and Cinema 4D in order to create these animations, like that's the only graphics card that you're able to see real time like rendering. Like when you create something in one of these softwares, like most computers have to render that render it out before you can actually watch it. But like the 4090, you're able to do that in real time. You're able to create something and then play it back immediately. It's the only graphics card that is capable of that. So this right here, Qualcomm Snapdragon. I'm very excited for this. Uh, Linus, I'm pretty sure he made a video. Oh my goodness. He made an awesome video on emulation from Nintendo the other day. It was actually really cool because I'm big into the emulation scene myself. And um, yeah, so like. And to be, oh, you know, I, I'm, it's actually, I saw uh, a comment in the comment section that actually it totally made, I've never really thought about it this way, but they were like, if, if I don't own the games that I buy, then, or wait, if I don't legally, wait, I don't remember what it was like, something like if I don't legally have the, oh my God, I don't. Whatever. I'm just going to say it the way I'm thinking about it because my mind is trying to like exact whatever. It was like, if I don't legally have the right to own the game that I bought, then I don't, then I have the right to legally download it. I forget what it was something like that, but it made a lot of sense to me. The day I stopped supporting Nintendo is when I was making Nintendo videos, dude. And they unmonetized like all the creators that were uploading gameplay of Nintendo games. Dude, like I went from making a couple thousand dollars every single month to like making like like 50. I was like, dude, like fuck you. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's go ahead and move on here. Uh so if you didn't pause the video, go ahead and pause the video and look at all this stuff. I did show you, so I'm guessing that a lot of you already looked. So this right here, I'm guessing this is the million dollar investment that's going to happen with NVIDIA. I don't want to stir up the stock market here, but there's a massive investment going down with NVIDIA. No, it's not because I can scan. It's actually a benefit of like the stuff I struggle with. It's like I can scan stuff hella quick and like I can actually legitimately do it too. So anyway, so the Samsung's GPU investment aims at creating a robust AI infrastructure given the massive demand that's come. Oh, it, it is, right? Samsung Semi. The report, I don't see it. Kim Jong included the likes of DX, several presidents. See this, it's a, the one that I'm thinking of is like specifically with NVIDIA. And this isn't, it, this is not mentioning the CEO and I don't even see the word NVIDIA in this with a 50 series, 40 series, whatever. This is just like some sort of, maybe this is like what NVIDIA actually uses and that's why they're not mentioning the name. But either way, that's what this article is about. Just Samsung, Samsung putting a massive investment into the whatever graphics card stuff which totally makes sense because like if you think about it the what is it x86 platform like that's been out for like what now in like 40 years or something like graphics card are eventually going to overtake cpus like that's just going to happen and uh with the new with the new features that microsoft is like building into their like the like the windows pcs uh, for those of you that are unaware of this or just may not have seen, which I don't expect you to watch every single video I upload. If you do, I really appreciate that. But uh, for those of you that may have missed the video that we covered the the new um, thing where like they're they're removing, I'm sure there will still be a bottleneck, but they're removing the like bottleneck between CPUs and GPUs on a computer. And they're going to they're going to start like 
whatever. I'm not, again, I love tech. I understand graphics card. I understand RAM. I understand CPUs. I understand computer parts. I understand the basic of these parts, but when it comes down to the transistors inside of your RAM that communicate with this little part of the motherboard that sends a signal, oh my goodness, that's so weird, that sends a signal up to this little nub thing on your motherboard that sends it back down here, and then your graphics card in the far right side, there's a block of metal that does this, and it's like, dude, I don't understand that type of stuff. Like, I understand the, the memory speeds. I understand how CPUs work, how everything communicates with each other. But when it comes down to the, like, very nerdy, techy, whatever, like, stuff, I just don't, I, it's very hard for me to learn that kind of stuff because I'm not able to, like, physically do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not able to physically test what would happen with that. You know what I mean? So, and I, whatever, you guys get my point. I'm sure a lot of you can under, whatever relate to what I'm saying. It just, uh, there's a lot of information. I didn't go to school for any of this stuff. You know, um, I started building computers for people. I made an offer so good. It was impossible to say no, the lifetime warranties, which I do actually do. Like if your computer breaks from somebody, I literally give them a full blown refund. I don't like, I don't even ask questions. Like I'm in this for the long haul. It is part of my goal to like help people and just give people free computers. So if I lose a couple thousand dollars, it's not that big of a, it's not, it doesn't impact me that much because of how much I'm making right now. So I do that for people, you know, I, I'm in this for the long haul. I'm not, I'm not that type of person, whatever that's going to if I was trying to sell everybody stuff, I would be selling you stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I actually do have a, a, I, it actually might be approved by the time this video is up. I ended up designing some merchandise designs for people. Um, which you don't have to buy. I just, whatever. Just when I say like gigabytes and stuff, it was like, I see comment. Oh, did you just say gigabytes? I'm going to start saying that now. Uh, it's just funny stuff like that. Uh, and it's whatever, like coffee mug, like it's just, I'm, cause I'm sure you're not going to wear a gigabytes shirt around or something. You know what I mean? But like a coffee mug with gigabytes, my type of video, the goofy, vibe that I have going on when you when you first wake up I'm guessing you drink coffee like me or tea or whatever something with caffeine uh so like seeing that and putting your coffee in a funny mug and just like being able to like oh that's that's kind of funny and it just puts you in a good mood it's whatever I think you guys understand but anyway so this AMD man I am really good at getting off the, what how long have I been recording here oh my god uh so this is really just our artifact. We don't have benchmarks or anything on this thing, but in comparison to the other ones, I'm just going to quickly show you because I've been recording for a long time now. Uh, but yeah, man, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and the prices are right here if you're looking for the price. Okay, my webcam's not over it. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Dude.